A new underwater smartphone housing has hit the market, the Oceanic Plus dive housing. And in today's video, I will share with you my first impressions of that housing. Coming up. Hey there underwater video enthusiasts, welcome back to the channel, as always great to see you back here with me. About a year ago the dive gear manufacturer Oceanic was all over the media. The reason for that was that they teamed up with Apple to create their Oceanic Plus dive computer, an app that transformed the newly announced Apple Watch Ultra into a full feature dive computer. This partnership has found quite some interest in the recreational diving industry and so Oceanic spent the last year or so working on something completely new again. An underwater housing for iPhones. In today's video I want to talk about the official specs of the Oceanic Plus dive housing. What I like about it and where I see potential issues with this housing. But before we start, just a quick disclaimer. I'm not being paid by Oceanic to create this video and all the opinions expressed within this video are my very personal ones. In fact, I haven't even had the chance to test out the Oceanic Plus dive housing myself because it isn't available yet. I've reached out to Oceanic though and asked if they wanted to send me a housing for testing and reviewing here on the channel, but they haven't come back to me yet. Hopefully at some time in the near future they will send me a housing for testing and once I've received it I will happily create a comprehensive and more detailed review about that housing. But enough with the disclaimers, let's have a look at the specs now. The specs list of this new housing is quite overwhelming and there just isn't enough time to cover them all in this video today. So I will focus on the specs that I personally find most important. If you want to see the whole specs list you can click the link down in the video description below which will take you to the official Oceanic website. Let's talk about compatibility. The Oceanic Plus dive housing is compatible with a large variety of different iPhone models, not just the current ones, but also all the way back to like the iPhone 11. From what I can tell, it is not compatible with any other smartphone brands though. It is made from durable material and incorporates an ergonomically formed handle that makes it more comfortable to hold the housing. It is depth rated down to 60 meters and includes an automatic vacuum pump for added safety of your iPhone. You'll need the Oceanic Plus app to connect your iPhone to the housing via Bluetooth. Once connected you can then use the four physical buttons on the housing to navigate through the app. The Oceanic Plus dive housing comes with an integrated rechargeable battery as well as a depth and temperature sensor. These enable the app to use the dive computer function, the same that we know from the Apple Watch Ultra also on your iPhone while you have it inside the housing. It looks like the housing has a very good ergonomic on it with the handle giving you a really good grip on the housing. I'm very excited that Oceanic has included some digital color correction filters. With the included depth sensor on the housing it's obviously possible to control the intensity of the filters according to the current depth. I think this is going to work very similar to the system that was in place at the Paralens cameras and hopefully it will work equally well. But we can't really be sure of that until we have had a chance to test it ourselves. 
A nice feature is the possibility to overlay dive data onto your images and also to see where exactly on that dive you took that specific photo. Another nice feature is that with a paid subscription you can have the Oceanic Plus dive computer data displayed on your iPhone screen even while you take photos or videos underwater. This way you can keep track of the most important information like for example your current depth, your dive time or you know the compression limit. From what I can tell the housing is only compatible with iPhones and will not work with any other smartphone type. So if you're not an iPhone user, well basically you can't be using this housing. Another thing that I don't particularly like as an underwater videographer is the third party app that you need to use to be able to take photos and videos underwater. Unfortunately, with any housing that doesn't allow the use of the phone's touchscreen, you will be relying on a third party app to be able to uh, use the phone underwater through a Bluetooth connection and the physical buttons on the housing. This is the main issue that I've got at this point with the housing and this brings some additional challenges with it, like for example the rechargeable battery. Now it is said that the battery will last for 100 hours which is pretty good. But will that still be true after you've used the housing for a year or two? And what happens if the battery loses some of its capacity? Will you be capable of just exchanging that lithium battery on the housing or will you have to get a completely new housing? Also, by relying on a third party app to take photos and videos underwater, more often than not, not all camera functions will be available through that third party app. Now, they mentioned that you can capture raw and compressed media through the Oceanic Plus app, but it seems like this is only the case for photos. It doesn't say anything about the capability or the possibility to capture ProRes RAW video recording through the Oceanic Plus app. And if that's really true, well, then that would be quite a pity. And last but not least, the price tag of $490 seems rather steep when you compare it to other underwater smartphone housings out on the market. And there you have it, my quick first impression of the new Oceanic Plus dive housing. Hopefully Oceanic will supply me with a housing sometime soon in the future so that I will be able to test it for myself. As soon as I have access to housing, I will obviously create a much more detailed review based on my personal experience and with some real world material that I was able to capture using that housing and that will then obviously be published here on the channel. In the meantime, if you have any questions, feel free to put them down in the comments section below and I'll get back to you as quickly as I can. Thank you so much guys for watching and now head out there and go capture those amazing underwater adventures of you. Have a great week and I will see you next Tuesday.